everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the, what are we on, 20, what the heck, we're on the 20th tutorial, but um, I literally just published 18, 19, not too long ago, and there's already like 50 views on each. I have a feeling there's a small group of you out there like watching these as soon as they come out. Anyways, um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do the obligatory Hello World application. Um, if you don't know what I mean by obligatory, every time you start a new language or framework, it's kind of like the traditional thing to do to make a hello world application it literally just displays hello world on the screen. We're going to take it a step further because I think those are pretty elementary. And we're going to see what it takes to build a basic application. I mean, we're talking real bare bones here. Uh, if in case you're wondering where we're at, we've installed Flutter, we've created our first app, we've set up an IDE, and we've learned Dart. So we're in the tour of the framework, and we're actually on this second bullet point, hello world. So we've taken this code, hello world, right here, and we put this into a new Flutter application. And we've got our emulator up, ta-da, and we're just going to run this thing. Now, I have kind of a bone to pick with the Flutter developers because this is a little misleading and I'm going to explain in depth in this detail in this tutorial why it's misleading. You can see how it's hello world. So it literally just displays something. Bang, our job is done. Not quite. Let's say we wanted to put a button here. Well, you can see, let's just pick this apart. The import package flutter material.dart. We're going to talk about material a lot main we have our run app which is kind of the starting point of any flutter application and in there we're going to say it's going to return a new center which is just going to center everything the child of that is a new text in that text is hello world with a text direction of left to right now for that to work uses material design true must be in the flutter section of the pubspec yaml Remember, burn it into your mind. We are going to talk about material a lot. So looking at this, I thought, well, it'd be cool if we could just see what's out there. So I clicked on Widget Catalog, went to the basics, and said, oh, these are kind of neat. Hey, they have a button. Buttons are always fun. So let's just view the documentation on this and say, yeah, let's just throw a button out here and see what it takes to get a button on here. So it seems like it's pretty simple. We could just take this. New raise button. Notice how it's nice enough to put the on press equal null for us, so we can actually link that to a method. And initializing hot reload. And notice how nothing happened. Hmm. So we're going to kill this. Typically, when hot reload doesn't work, it means there was a problem. And it says some elements were changed during reload but did not run when viewed as assembled you may need to restart the app for the changes to take effect. So let's run this. Let it rebuild. And I have to apologize if my voice cracks a little bit. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something. It's like first snow of the year. It's pouring snow outside. I live in Michigan, so I'm sure I'm coming down with something. So as you can see, mistakes were made. All right, so this is the same error message over and over again separated by this line. So we're just going to start reading here so you can actually see it. It says no material widget found. Material button widgets require a material widget ancestor. In material design, most widgets are conceptually quote unquote printed on a sheet of material. In Flutter's material library, that material is represented by the material widget. It is a material widget that renders ink splashes, for instance. Because of this, many material library widgets require there be a material blah, 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 blah. Really what that's saying is your root widget here needs to be a material widget it needs to inherit material design. Now, what do I mean by material design? This is where you kind of have to take a little bit of a leap of faith because it doesn't really transition smoothly into this. You can see how there's basic widgets and then using material design. So they, I kind of think material design should be up above, but there is a whole material design guideline here. And you can see how there's a material app. Really what it means is conceptually Think of your application as a desk, and on that desk, you're going to put a piece of paper, and on that piece of paper, you'll start drawing your widgets and scaffolds and app bars and all those neat little things. So click on Material App, and you can see how overall satisfied with Flutter. Well, hmm. I'm going to put somewhat because we've had a boo-boo. 
No, sorry, Google, I'm not going to fill that out. All right, so maybe if I wasn't doing a tutorial when you popped up, I'd fill that out. But uh, you can see Material App is an application that uses material design. All right, so we're headed in the right direction here. And it's a convenience widget that wraps a number of the widgets that are commonly required for material design applications. It builds upon widget app as adding material dash design specific functionality such as animated theme and grid paper. All right, and you can see it also says scaffold navigator and things like that. So it sounds like a lot of what we need. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to say new material app. Actually, let's not do that. Let's break this out. We're going to extend the stateless widget. We're not going to worry about state in this application. And what we're doing here is kind of just the bread and butter of almost all um, Flutter applications here. I'm going to new my app. And of course, hot reload won't work because we have a boo-boo here because we're not returning something. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to return a new material app. All right, so notice how all the little red squigglies went away. So the code thinks it's correct. We still got that error message up, so we're going to kill the app, and we're going to rebuild it and send it out to the device and see what happens here. All right, so pushed it out. Uh-oh, we have a boo-boo. It says, and remember the same error message over and over again is just in these lines, Package, blah, 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 flutter, source, material, app, dart, failed assertion, line it home equal null. Hmm. Home equal null. Or home not equal null. Basically, it's saying the home is null. So we need to give some sort of home. We need to figure out what's going on here, right? It's part of material design here. And it's not really well spelled out. At least I didn't find it right away following the flutter docs. So there's home. It's actually part of the material app. And basically it was an assert call that said, hey, this is null, so we need to figure out what to put here. Hmm, so let's make a new scaffold. And let's just save this. Notice how it says initializing hot reload and then reloaded, meaning we go back here and ta-da, it suddenly put something out on the screen. We have a big white box, so what is this thing? And notice how it says slow mode. You may not be able to see it over that clock, but it says slow mode. Okay, so my app is a stateless widget, which is just, you know, a widget. And then the build is going to return or render. Whenever you see return and build, basically we're rendering a material app. So this giant white box is the material app. The slow mode basically means that we have not compiled this for production yet. This is like a, a debug version, if you will. So it's not really meant for the real world. We're just doing this because we're goofing around on our computer. If we were to send this to like the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, we would want to compile this for production and actually make it so that it's not in slow mode, which we may cover in future tutorials. Actually, we'll probably cover in future tutorials. So you will see slow mode a lot. Don't be alarmed. So this is a pretty plain application. What does the scaffold really do for us? Why are we even messing with that? Think of a scaffold, well, like a scaffold. You see these around buildings when people are washing windows or painting. They're just, you know, uh, structures that you put up so that you can get to different parts of the application or different parts of the building in that analogy. So what we're going to do here is app bar equal new app bar. Let's actually say flutter. Hello, flutter. And you can see hot reload worked. So suddenly we have a app bar. So the app bar is this top blue section. And 
really all this does is it lets the user know what you're working with, the name of the application or what page in the application, and you can put buttons and things of that nature up here. Uh, think of it like a giant toolbar. Now, this extra white area down here is called the body, and that's what we're going to work with next. Body would be the body or the working area that the end user would actually work with here. So we're going to say new, center, and then in center, we're going to say child, new text. Save that, hot reload will pick it up, and then bang, centered is our hello world. So remember the whole goal of this is we just wanted to put a button on the screen. So let's figure that out. Let's get rid of this. So we're going to put our new raise button and save this. And notice how it hot reloaded that time. So this little gray thing is actually our button. Uh, we want to put some text in there so we can kind of see what's going on here. Let's actually... my button and we'll break this out into a new line so it's easier to read what's going on here whoops there we go so very faintly it grayed out it says my button it's grayed out because we don't have an on press in here so we have our app bar we have our body and in our body is centered we have our button so why didn't this work before and why is it working now that's the million dollar question. Um, remember at the very beginning of this, when we tried adding the button, it said it needed an ancestor of material widget. It needed material design. You're gonna hear material over and over and over again. While you don't have to use material widgets and material design, you would be fighting a massive uphill battle. Kind of the de facto way of doing things in Flutter is to use material design. That's why I wanted to start this with the material app because it's the bread and butter of what you're gonna be working with in the future. Um, so that's why it's working now, because as you can see, the button is actually part of this widget tree, and the root of that tree is a material app that has all the material goodness that we need. Whew. So that is a lot of talking. I um, hope you found this educational and entertaining, and we're going to work with this a bit more. Um, I think the next video we're going to actually do some basic layouts and just kind of figure out how things are laid out. Uh, but I wanted to show you just the bare bones Flutter application, like a real quote unquote application, not the little hello world they had out on their website. If you found this educational and entertaining, uh, be sure to visit my website, voidrums.com. Uh, we have the source code for this and all other tutorials out in GitHub. And if you go to contact, there is a Voidrums Facebook group, uh, completely open. Anybody can join. We have like 1,700 programmers, all walks of life, all languages out there that can help you with any questions you have.